Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're playing a rumba blues. Grab your C harmonica and we're going to play this through together and follow the tab as we go. I'm assuming you understand what a 12-bar blues structure is. If not, check out my video on 12-bar blues structure and then come back to me. What we're talking about in this lesson is what distinguishes a rumba blues. Rumba being a style of music originating with Afro-Cuban rhythms and we can apply that to a blues and get what's called a rumba blues and all that means, or, or a rumba style blues, all that means is that we've got a kind of rumba sort of rhythm to what we're playing and that rumba rhythm sounds something like this. They often end with a cha-cha-cha like that. But can you hear the rolling kind of... Very distinctive. If you compare that with a shuffle, and I've done a lesson on blues shuffle playing, if you want to check that out. Shuffle being... We haven't got the... This time we've got... So it's a rhythmic thing. For us, there's going to be a rhythm running throughout this. You'll hear that da, 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 da. You'll hear that the whole way through, and we're going to pick different notes to follow a 12-bar blues format, okay? So we're going to follow the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, and pick notes to fit each of those chords as we go. Okay, so let's start by thinking about the rhythm involved. So we won't even need our harmonica for this. We're just going to kind of sing it as we go along. So I'm going to do a... One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. See if you can join in with me, just going... Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Good, good. So that's going to be our rhythm which is going to run throughout this whole thing. The first notes we're going to play, if we look at the tab, are two draw, three draw, and four draw. Okay? But they're not going to be equally spaced. We're not going to have. We're going to have. So you've got to delay that second note. It can be tempting to play that too soon. You've got to really internalize that rhythm. The defining feature of a rumba blues. If you go to a jam session, if you're talking to blues musicians and they're talking about rumba blues, they're probably going to mean that kind of rhythm. So really try and internalize that. If you can get that, then you're going to have the rumba. So our first chord, on the one chord, we're going to play that two draw, three draw, four draw. Now, if you've looked at chords at all with a 12-bar blues, if you've understood how to arpeggiate chords or just how to think about which notes on the harmonica relate to the notes on the guitar, say, you might know that the 2, 3, and 4 draw are your root, 3rd, and 5th of your 1 chord, okay? If I've lost you at this point, don't worry. We're going to get on to just playing the notes, but I think this is important. And if you don't understand this, maybe it's a good thing to learn. We're playing the root third and fifth of the one chord. When we go on to the four chord, when we go on to the five chord, we're just going to play the root, the third and the fifth of those chords as well. So it's very formulaic. That's the important point to get across. There's nothing magical or mysterious about it. We're just applying a system to each chord. We've got a rhythm. Ta, ka, ta, ta, and then we've got a approach to picking the notes. Root third, fifth. So on our one chord, we're going to play two, three, four draw. 
And because we've got four bars of the one chord in a 12 bar blues, we're gonna play that four times. So let's try that again now. I'll count us in one, two, three, four, and then we'll be in together. One, two, three, four. Okay, at that point it would change to the four chord. Little note on technique there, I did a little bit of slapping and I did a bit of, um, I don't know what to call it, kind of percussive, I was going I kind of went between the notes, just helps me keep the rhythm, I quite like the feel of it and it's okay if that comes through in the sound as well. But I did a bit of a slap as well, tongue slap. Check my lessons on tongue blocking and tongue slapping for that. But even if you don't have those techniques, you can still just play the single notes. That's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. At this point, we'd go on to the four chord and we've got. That same rhythm. Cha, cha, cha. But we've got one blow, two blow, and then either two draw or three blow. They're the same note, so that's absolutely fine. They'll both give you the right note. I'd prefer two draw. If you're not that confident with the two draw, go for the three blow. In the same way as the one chord, we've got the root third and fifth of this chord now. So it's it moves on naturally. Even if you don't understand the music theory of it, it will feel natural at that point to go on and play those notes. So if we put those two together, and we're gonna play those one blow, two blow, three blow twice for the two bars of the four chord, then we've got six bars, and we're halfway through the 12 bar blues at this point. So let's play that first six bars together. I'll count us in on four again. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're back to the one chord, so we do the same thing again. Just twice like that, we don't get the time to do it four times, we've only got two bars. So that would be eight bars now. So we've got four times on the one chord, twice on the four chord, twice on the one chord again, and that takes us eight bars in. At this point we go to the five chord. So these are new notes again. We've got... Now we've got bends here. We've got a one draw, two draw semitone bend, so that's the first bend, a half step bend on two draw, and then three draw, full step bend. So that's a full tone, uh, kind of, you might call it a double step, I suppose, or, or something like that. Um, so, this is the tricky bit, the five chord's always the tricky bit. I've done um, some teaching on the five chord and the fact that, that it's not always played particularly well because it's difficult on the harmonica. We're going to have to play these bends as in tune as we can. But it's the same rhythm. Da, da, da. And we just play that once. And then it's back to the four chord. So one blow, two blow, three blow. So let's try those two together. I'm going to loop them, by which I mean we're going to go five chord, four chord, five chord, four chord, just to get used to going back and forth. Count us in on four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we just do that once. We just go five chord, four chord. And then we go back to the one chord. And we might play... some sort of turn around, or we might play, which is a cha-cha-cha at the end there. And that's a common way to end a rumba blues. And I think we'll do that because it's a nice kind of way to round it off. So we play the two draw, the three draw, and the four draw, just as usual. And then another two draw, so. And then what I did was I played a three and a six blow octave and I played it cha cha cha, did that kind of cha 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 at the end. And you might get the band to do that with you as well. 
If you're not able to get the octave split, it's a great technique to work on, but you could just play the two draw, or you could just play the six draw. Uh, you probably want to play one of those notes, because that's our kind of root note and our tonic for the key. So that would give a nice ending to the song. So... Or... It's quite nice to go to the higher one. So that would be the last few bars of the 12 bar blues. So if we put all those together and we follow the tab in full on the screen, it would sound something like this. I'll count us in on four. One, two, three, four. And that's a rumba blues. If you ever hear a rumba blues band playing, you'll hear that rhythm going through it. And now you've watched this lesson, hopefully you'll be able to lock into that and feel that rhythm. The bass player especially would be doing a kind of selection of notes just like that. And the drummer would probably be doing a... That kind of rhythm going on, okay? And the guitarist would be following that as well. You don't have to play these notes over a rumba. You can do all sorts of soloing over a rumba blues. And I have a lesson on playing early in the morning, which is a classic blues song in a rumba style. William Clark did a gorgeous version of early in the morning. And I've got a lesson teaching you that. It doesn't follow this format of just moving through the three different chords with root third and fifth. It's actually a more detailed solo, a gorgeous little melody. So if you want to learn a melody, you could play it over the top or alternate between this lesson and another solo, then you can use my lesson on early in the morning to play over a rumba rhythm as well. I hope this has helped you understand a little bit more about what a rumba blues is. I hope you've enjoyed playing this with me today. And please send me your requests, your comments, your queries. I take requests and I try and do as many of them as possible. So you can put a comment beneath the video or you can email contact at learntheharmonica.com or you can find me on Facebook if you look for learntheharmonica.com and you can find me on Twitter as well at learntheharp. Please get on those. We've got a great community of harmonica players of all abilities and you'll get to chat with other people and learn much more on there as well. Until then, I look forward to the next lesson and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.